Tonight, a Brock neighborhood is in shock after the DA says a woman was ambushed in her driveway. The DA says the man who killed her was her husband, who then took his own life. Investigators say the couple had a history of domestic violence. As WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, the victim's daughter is devastated. Mommy, I know you can't hear me, but I miss you. I'm so sorry this happened. Lauren Brown was sleeping upstairs, her father home too, when her mom woke her up with a phone call, having just returned from Jamaica in the middle of the night. Her uncle just passed away last week. She went down to go bury her uncle, and then she came back, and this was what happened to her. Her suitcase is still here. She never made it inside. I heard a loud noise, and then I go, t I tiptoe downstairs, and I see his body, and I freaked out. I called 911. Police discovered both Lauren's parents shot to death, a murder-suicide. Yeah, two victims, one in the house, one in the driveway. Sharon Trower's family says she was a beloved 56-year-old who worked for the State Department of Mental Health at a group home. Her husband, 61-year-old Carlos Brown, was a painter and a Marine veteran. And court papers show Trowers had taken out a restraining order against him 20 years ago. Speaking generally, it's not unusual for cases to be brought, for restraining orders to be brought, and then time goes by and things cool down and the restraining orders get dismissed and people get back together. I wish I had called the police more often. Carol Wright lives across the street. I called the police once because she was out in the hall in the driveway screaming, someone called the police, someone called the police, so I called the police. We can continue to say to people that there is hope out there. Uh, and people are here to help. We need to get you out of that domestic violence situation. My mom was everything to me. I still can't believe that she's not here. In Brockton, Christina Hager, WBZ News. That family is in our prayers tonight.